Welcome back to DIY with John. Here I have a piece of the old electrical mains cable. Uh, this is something I've already cut out of the ground, but it's too long to be conveniently stored, so I'm going to cut it in half. This also shows me, gives me a chance to show you how I actually do this. So, here's the tool I'm using, which is a ratchet cable cutter. Uh, try to focus on it. Basically, there's only two options on this. There's this little dial here that controls whether these two things are locked into place or whether this one on the left can actually swing out. So, turn that one round 180 degrees. Now that comes out. Then there's this little lever here that controls whether this thing can move or not. So, if I get that a little bit of nudging, that is now all the way out. I'm now going to put this piece of metal onto the, the inner bit, the one the, the, the fixed side, and then essentially move that swinging piece against it. So, get that back out. Goes in here. Okay, so you can hear that clicking into place. What's happening now is each time I turn this, I don't know how easy well this shows up, if I can move a bit closer. Each time I, you hear that click, this little bit here is actually moving in a bit closer. So, the first view, easy. Just click, click, click. The eye does eventually get all the way through. So I say, it starts off really easy, while I'm just basically closing the air gap. Then it gets a bit more difficult. And there's a bit of upper body strength involved. Yeah, now it's getting a lot harder. So at this point, the best option is put one arm against the ground, then just put your whole body weight against the other one. Obviously that does depend on where the cable is. In this case, because out of the ground, I can do it wherever. So this is still fairly easy. Uh, doing this underground, for example, uh, where you're trying to wedge yourself into a gap, can be a bit more difficult. There you go. That is now through. I now have two short pieces rather than one long piece. Very useful tool if you need to do this particular job.